Okay, this is the starting procedure for my M29C Studebaker Weasel. I'm going to try and do this one-handed, so if it gets a little blurry or juddery, I apologize. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the, this is how you check the oil. You raise this latch and the oil dipstick tube is in there, uh, but it's also a way to get to the accelerator cable and the carburetor linkage. So I'm going to do that so that I don't have to climb inside and, and try and start it. This is the master electrical uh, engage and disengage switch. So you pull this out and engage that. That now allows current to flow through the weasel. I'm going to turn on the, this one happens to have an electric uh, fuel pump. I'm going to turn on the fuel pump. Hopefully we hear it going. I'm going to choke it since this is a cold start, although this is Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know how cold this is, but it is a first start today. And then this is the start switch. I make sure I'm in neutral, which I've already done. I'm going to engage the switch, and then I may have to switch hands with the camera and grab that carburetor linkage to give it some gas. Basically, all I'm doing is pumping the gas pedal, but I'm doing it from up, up, up here. <laughs> Gas. Okay, I'm a, may have to set the camera down, but here we go. combination of choke and acceleration. I either had, didn't have enough choke or I had too much choke. But we're on choke now. And as this weasel warms up, I can let the choke in and in gradually until it idles on its own. it about there for now until it warms up. It should be good to go. Runs awfully smooth. And then to turn off the weasel, just kill the fuel pump. And there we go. Hopefully if I wanted to start it again, I turn the fuel pump back on.